OpenAI, Oracle, and SoftBank just announced a massive deal with President Trump called Project Stargate. Despite the name, unfortunately this has nothing to do with intergalactic wormhole infrastructure. Their plan is to invest a staggering $500 billion in the United States to build the largest data centers the world has ever seen, for the sole purpose of churning out AI slop. To put this number in perspective, the US annual defense budget is $850 billion, but that pays for aircraft carriers, fighter jets, and space lasers. But there was someone who didn't get picked for the Stargate team, and he's feeling really bummed out right now. His name is Elon, and everyone seems to forget that he has an AI company too. He claims that SoftBank doesn't actually have the money secured, and says the whole Stargate thing is fake. Sam Altman then came in with a famous high road clapback, where he compliments Elon but says he's wrong, and then invites him to come visit the project that's already underway. Then Saudia jumps in to back up Altman, saying he's good for his 80 billion. I'm good for my 80 billion. In today's video, we'll find out what the Stargate project really is, and why you should be excited, but also terrified. It is January 23rd, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. Project Stargate is an AI infrastructure project, where the goal is to invest $500 billion in the United States to build data centers. Now, this project is not actually funded by taxpayers, but instead will come from investors secured by the Japanese bank, SoftBank. Masayoshi Sun is the money guy, Sam Altman is the gadgets guy, and Larry Ellison is the muscle. These data center facilities will require tons of energy, and Trump is the gas man who will get that done by using executive orders to divert power to get these things built, which they claim will create 100,000 new jobs, which will then be eliminated by AI when they finish building this thing. On the bright side, this project could make AI cheaper and more accessible, and they're really hyping up its medical benefits, where Larry Ellison said it will enable personalized medicine for everyone, and that it should be able to develop customized mRNA vaccines to cure cancer. Ellison is most well known as a champion sailor, but he also became one of the richest men in the world by creating the first commercial SQL database. He also owns my favorite program programming language Java, and is fighting a legal battle with Dino to maintain control of the JavaScript trademark. But he also has a dystopian vision for society, where everything is monitored by AI to keep citizens on their best behavior. Citizens will be on their best behavior, because we're constantly recording and reporting everything that's going on. And we're using AI to monitor the video. This vision will become a reality in the very near future. Stargate currently has 10 data centers under construction in Abilene, Texas, and is expanding to more states soon. And what's interesting is that the government used to have a different Stargate project back in the 70s, which was a top secret CIA project to explore the possibility of psychic warfare. These names are no accident. Oracle sees the future, Stargate is a portal to other dimensions, and OpenAI is the one who gets to open the portal. The timing is perfect because after years of saying OpenAI would definitely never go for profit, OpenAI just laid out plans to go for profit and give Sam Altman equity to make him billions of dollars richer. And that's surprising because he told Congress in 2023 he was doing it because he loves it. Make a lot of money, do you? I, I'm doing this because I love it. Elon is seething right now because he's about to release Grok 3, which is a reasoning model like DeepSeek or O1, and based on this one biased example, could be superior to those models. Now, I might get in trouble with my Illuminati handler for telling you this, but all this drama and beefing is scripted and fake. Elon and Altman are bros who started OpenAI together, Ellison helped Elon by Twitter, they're all connected to the PayPal Mafia and Peter Thiel, whose protege JD Vance just became the vice president. He'll take over as president in 2027, but is actually controlled by reptilians who have been alive since the Roman times. All roads lead to Rome and that's why Elon did this autistic Roman salute recently to mark the beginning of the tech bro dynasty that will reign supreme for the next 500 years. This has been The Code Report. I'm not suicidal. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.